Welcome back to Good Day Orlando. Consumer Corner now. America's biggest financial regret appears to be getting bigger. Studies show people list their top regret as not saving for retirement early enough. Coming in second, they say not saving enough for emergency expenses. So what can you do to avoid these major money regrets? Joining us to talk more about it is our financial expert, Joe Burchett. Good morning. Good morning, Good to see Andrea. you. Good to see you. So a lot of folks say they've got these regrets when it comes to right. not saving enough, not saving early enough. What is the key here? The key is, is to recognize it early. Unfortunately, most of us don't recognize that, and not until we get into our 50s. You know, the kids are gone, had the weddings, the kids are out of school, and now you're staring at retirement and said, you know, we probably should have saved more earlier. So I hope our viewers this morning are paying attention, particularly the millennials, because time is a great asset, and unfortunately, we don't realize it until, you know, we have a lot of years to years to go. Okay, yep. so the key here, save early and often. Yeah, what you want to do is use your 401k. If, you have, if you're fortunate enough to have a retirement plan at work, that's where you want to start. So we're going to put your money because, number one, you get a tax deduction. Number two, grocery grocery without being taxed. And you want to use your employer match. If you're fortunate enough to have an employer match, you want to at least do that because that's free money, Andrea. If you leave it on the table, if you don't use it, you can't go back three, four years. And You know, I really want to take advantage of that match. you got to do it every year, year in and year out. Okay, and max it out, too? Max it out. Well, particularly if you can. You ought to get in the rule of saving 10% of what you earn. Force yourself to do that. Pay yourself first because if you pay yourself, don't pay yourself first, nobody else is going to do it for you. So you want to you get in that habit. Okay. You mentioned the 401k. What about using a tax sheltered account? Well, if you don't have a 401k at work, uh, many many companies have what's called a 457 if you work for a not-for-profit or 403b a not-for-profit. Or as a minimum, use an IRA. You still get the same benefit of getting the tax deduction. The money will grow for you without being taxed. But the key to saving for retirement is try to get it into something on a pre-tax basis. Unless you're in a low tax bracket, 10% or less, then you may want to consider using a Roth. You don't get a tax deduction, but the money will grow for you on, under current law on a tax-free basis. But the key is, is to recognize this early. You know, we go through life and we, stuff happens and yeah. we go on and you think we're going to do it tomorrow. And before you know it, tomorrow is here. So for all of our listeners that are out there, start early, save often, and save as much as you can. Compound interest is the eighth wonder of the world, but we don't appreciate it until we're in our 50s. <laughs> eighth wonder of the world. I love it. Joe, yeah. great information. Where can people find it? Just once you? again, Google me. Two words, Joe Burt, B-E-R-T. There it is. Some great Thanks.